BepiColombo is a joint mission of the European Space Agency and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency to the planet Mercury. The mission comprises two satellites launched together, the Mercury Planetary Orbiter and MEO Mercury Magnetospheric Orbiter, MMO. The mission will perform a comprehensive study of Mercury, including characterization of its magnetic field, magnetosphere, and both interior and surface structure. It was launched on an Ariane 5 rocket on the 20th of October 2018 at 1:45 Universal Time, with an arrival at Mercury planned for December 2025, after a flyby of Earth, two flybys of Venus, and six flybys of Mercury. The mission was approved in November 2009, after years in proposal and planning as part of the European Space Agency's Horizon 2000 Plus program. It is the last mission of the program to be launched. Topic. Mission BepiColombo is named after Giuseppe Beppi Colombo, a scientist, mathematician, and engineer at the University of Padua, Italy, who first implemented the interplanetary gravity assist maneuver during the 1974 Mariner 10 mission, a technique now commonly used by planetary probes. The mission involves three components, which will separate into independent spacecraft upon arrival at Mercury. Mercury Transfer Module MTM for propulsion, built by ESA Mercury Planetary Orbiter MPO built by ESA Mercury Magnetospheric Orbiter MMO or MEO built by JAXA during launch and cruise phase. These three components are joined together to form the Mercury Cruise System MCS. The prime contractor for ESA is Airbus Defence and Space. ESA is responsible for the overall mission, the design, development assembly and test of the propulsion and MPO modules, and the launch. The two orbiters were successfully launched together on 20 October 2018, on Ariane Flight VA-245. The spacecraft will have a seven-year interplanetary cruise to Mercury using solar electric propulsion ion thrusters and gravity assists from Earth, Venus and eventual gravity capture at Mercury. ESA's Sobrero's 35-meter ground station is planned to be the primary ground facility for communications during all mission phases. Arriving in Mercury orbit on 5 December 2025, the MEO and MPO satellites will separate and observe Mercury in collaboration for one year, with a possible one-year extension. The orbiters are equipped with scientific instruments provided by various European countries and Japan. The mission will characterize the solid and liquid iron core three-quarters of the planet's radius and determine the size of each. The mission will also complete gravitational and magnetic field mappings. Russia provided gamma ray and neutron spectrometers to verify the existence of water ice in polar craters that are permanently in shadow from the sun's rays. Mercury is too small and hot for its gravity to retain any significant atmosphere over long periods of time, but it has a tenuous surface-bounded exosphere containing hydrogen, helium, oxygen, sodium, calcium, potassium and other trace elements. Its exosphere is not stable as atoms are continuously lost and replenished from a variety of sources. The mission will study the exosphere composition and dynamics, including generation and escape. Topic. Objectives The main objectives of the mission are Study the origin and evolution of a planet close to its parent star Study Mercury's form, interior, structure, geology, composition and craters Investigate Mercury's exosphere, composition and dynamics, including generation and escape Study Mercury's magnetized envelope, magnetosphere, structure and dynamics Investigate the origin of Mercury's magnetic field Verify Einstein's theory of general relativity by measuring the parameters gamma and beta of the parameterized post-Newtonian formalism with high accuracy. Topic. Design The stacked spacecraft will take seven years to position itself to enter Mercury orbit. 
During this time it will use solar electric propulsion and nine gravity assists, flying past the Earth and Moon in April 2020, Venus in 2020 and 2021, and six Mercury flybys between 2021 and 2025. The stacked spacecraft left Earth with a hyperbolic excess velocity of 3.475 km per second, 2.159 miles per second. Initially the craft is placed in an orbit similar to that of the Earth. After both the spacecraft and the Earth completed one and a half orbits, it returns to Earth to perform a gravity assist maneuver and is deflected towards Venus. Two consecutive Venus flybys reduce the perihelion nearly to Mercury distance with almost no need for thrust. A sequence of six Mercury flybys will lower the relative velocity to 1.76 km per second, 1.09 miles per second. After the fourth Mercury flyby the craft will be in an orbit similar to that of Mercury and will remain in the general vicinity of Mercury see video. Four final thrust arcs reduce the relative velocity to the point where Mercury will weakly capture the spacecraft on 5 December 2025 into polar orbit. Only a small maneuver is needed to bring the craft into an orbit around Mercury with an apocenter of 178,000 km. The orbiters then separate and will adjust their orbits using chemical thrusters. Topic. Schedule As of 2018, the planned mission schedule is Topic. History The BepiColombo mission proposal was approved in 2000 by the ESA, with a science payload proposal request issued in 2004. In 2007, Astrium was selected as the prime contractor, and the Soyuz Fregat launcher was dropped in favor of Ariane 5 as the estimated mass increased. The initial target launch of July 2014 was postponed several times, mostly because of delays on the development of the solar electric propulsion. The total cost of the mission is estimated at USD $2 billion. Topic. Components Topic. Mercury Transfer Module The Mercury Transfer Module MTM is located at the base of the stack. Its role is to carry the two science orbiters to Mercury and to support them during the cruise. The MTM is equipped with a solar electric propulsion system as the main spacecraft propulsion. Its four kinetic T6 ion thrusters operate singly or in pair for a maximum combined thrust of 290 mN, making it the most powerful ion engine ever operated in space. The MTM supplies electrical power for the two hibernating orbiters as well as for its solar electric propulsion system thanks to two 14-meter-long solar panels. Depending on the probe's distance to the Sun, the generated power will range between 7 and 14 kW, each T6 requiring between 2.5 and 4.5 kW according to the desired thrust level. The solar electric propulsion system has typically very high specific impulse and low thrust. This leads to a flight profile with months-long continuous low thrust braking phases, interrupted by planetary gravity assists, to gradually reduce the velocity of the spacecraft. Moments before Mercury orbit insertion, the MTM will be jettisoned from the spacecraft stack. After separation from the MTM, the MPO will provide MEO all necessary power and data resources until MEO is delivered to its mission orbit. Separation of MEO from MPO will be accomplished by spin ejection. Topic: <laughs> Mercury Planetary Orbiter. The Mercury Planetary Orbiter MPO will have a mass of 1,150 kg 2,540 pounds and will use a single-sided solar array capable of providing up to 1,000 watts and featuring optical solar reflectors to keep its temperature below 200 degrees Celsius 392 degrees Fahrenheit. The solar array requires continuous rotation keeping the Sun at a low incidence angle in order to generate adequate power while at the same time limiting the temperature. The MPO will carry a payload of 11 instruments, comprising cameras, spectrometers IR, UV, X-ray, gamma-ray, neutron, a radiometer, a laser altimeter, a magnetometer, particle analyzers, a Ka-band transponder, and an accelerometer. 
The payload components are mounted on the nadir side of the spacecraft to achieve low detector temperatures. Apart from the MERTIS and Phoebus spectrometers located directly at the main radiator to provide a better field of view, a high temperature resistant 1.0 meters (3.3 feet) diameter high gain antenna is mounted on a short boom on the zenith side of the spacecraft. Communications will be on the X and Ka band with an average bit rate of 50 kilobits per second and a total data volume of 1,550 gigabits per year. ESA's Sobrero's 35-meter ground station is planned to be the primary ground facility for communications during all mission phases. <laughs> Science payload the science payload of the Mercury Planetary Orbiter consists of 11 instruments Bepicolombo Laser Altimeter Bella, developed by Switzerland and Germany Italian Spring Accelerometer ESA, developed by Italy Mercury Magnetometer MPO -MAG, M -E -R -M -A -G, developed by Germany and UK Mercury Radiometer and Thermal Infrared Spectrometer M -E -R -T -I -S, developed by Germany Mercury Gamma Ray and Neutron Spectrometer MGNS, developed by Russia Mercury Imaging X-ray Spectrometer MIXS, developed by UK and Finland Mercury Orbiter Radio Science Experiment more, developed by Italy and the United States Probing of Hermean Exosphere by Ultraviolet Spectroscopy Phoebus, developed by France and Russia Search for exosphere refilling and emitted neutral abundances Serena, a neutral and ionized particle analyzer, developed by Italy, Sweden, Austria and the United States, which contains the Strophio mass spectrometer from NASA's Discovery Program Spectrometers and imagers for MPO Bepicolombo Integrated Observatory System high-resolution stereo cameras and a visual and near-infrared spectrometer, developed by Italy, France and Switzerland Solar Intensity X-ray and Particle Spectrometer Sixus, developed by Finland and UK Topic. MEO Mercury Magnetospheric Orbiter MEO, or the Mercury Magnetospheric Orbiter MMO, developed and built mostly by Japan, has the shape of a short octagonal prism, 180 cm long from face to face and 90 cm 35 in high. It has a mass of 285 kilograms, 628 pounds, including a 45 kilograms, 99 pounds scientific payload consisting of five instrument groups, four for plasma and dust measuring run by investigators from Japan, and one magnetometer from Austria. MIO is spin stabilized at 15 revolutions per minute with the spin axis perpendicular to the equator of Mercury, and it will enter polar orbit at an altitude of 590 times 11,640 kilometers, 370 times 7,230 miles, outside of MPO's orbit. The top and bottom of the octagon act as radiators with louvers for active temperature control. The sides are covered with solar cells which provide 90W communications with Earth will be through a 0.8 m diameter X-band phased array high-gain antenna and two medium-gain antennas operating in the X-band. Telemetry will return 160 gigabits per year, about 5 kilobits per second over the lifetime of the spacecraft, which is expected to be greater than one year. The reaction and control system is based on cold gas thrusters. After its release in Mercury orbit, MIO will be operated by Sagamihara Space Operations Center using Yusuda Deep Space Center's 64 meters (210 feet) antenna located in Nagano, Japan. The Mercury Magnetospheric Orbiter was given the nickname MIO on the 8th of June 2018. In Japanese, MIO means a waterway for ships and symbolizes the research and development milestones reached thus far, as well as wishes for a safe travel ahead. The spacecraft will explore the solar wind as it flows through and is interfered by Mercury's magnetosphere, just like a ship voyaging through water currents. MIO was chosen from among 6,494 submissions from the public. Topic science Payload MIO carries five groups of science instruments with a total mass of 45 kg pounds. Mercury Plasma Particle Experiment MPPE, studies the plasma and neutral particles from the planet, magnetosphere, and interplanetary solar wind. 
It will employ these instruments, Mercury Electron Analyzers MEA1 and MEA2 Mercury Ion Analyzer MIA Mass Spectrum Analyzer MSA High Energy Particle Instrument for Electrons HEP -E High Energy Particle Instrument for Ions HEP -Ion Energetic Neutrals Analyzer ENA Mercury Magnetometer MMOMGF, studies Mercury's magnetic field, magnetosphere, and interplanetary solar wind plasma wave investigation PWI, studies the electric field electromagnetic waves, and radio waves from the magnetosphere and solar wind Mercury Sodium Atmosphere Spectral Imager MSASI, studies the thin sodium atmosphere of Mercury Mercury Dust Monitor MDM, studies dust from the planet and interplanetary space topic Mercury Surface Element cancelled. The Mercury Surface Element MSE was cancelled in 2003 due to budgetary constraints. At the time of cancellation, MSE was meant to be a small, 44 kg £97, lander designed to operate for about one week on the surface of Mercury. Shaped as a 0.9 m diameter disk, it was designed to land at a latitude of 85 degrees near the Terminator region. Braking maneuvers would bring the lander to zero velocity at an altitude of 120 meters (390 feet), at which point the propulsion unit would be ejected, the airbags inflated, and the module would fall to the surface with a maximum impact velocity of 30 meters per second (98 feet per second). Scientific data would be stored onboard and relayed via a cross-dipole UHF antenna to either the MPO or MEO. The MSE would have carried a 7 kg payload consisting of an imaging system a descent camera and a surface camera, a heat flow and physical properties package, an alpha particle X-ray spectrometer, a magnetometer, a seismometer, a soil penetrating device mole, and a micro rover. See also Exploration of Mercury Messenger, the first spacecraft to orbit Mercury Topic. References Topic. External links BepiColombo website by the European Space Agency BepiColombo Operations website by the European Space Agency BepiColombo website by JAXA BepiColombo website by JAXA's Institute of Space and Astronautical Science BepiColombo website by NASA's Solar System Exploration BepiColombo website by the National Space Science Data Center